Hey, just a reminder that this video is not going to have any commentary in it because I was a dummy and recorded it with my microphone off. And because of the way saves work in Doom 3, there is just no way for me to get back to where I was and re-record them without starting the game completely over, which I'm not going to do. So I'll see you eventually when we get to Delta Labs level 3, I think, and commentary will start again. This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated October 29th, 2145. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia, and I have yet to receive any additional data from the psychiatrist. Approximately 80% of all extraplanar participants exhibit signs of mild neuroses within the first 48 hours after returning from their expeditions. Within 72 hours, 75% of patients exhibit extreme signs of paranoid delusion and violence. We have isolated these cases in hopes of finding the pathogen. As yet, we can find no biological contaminants that would lead to such drastic changes in cognitive processing. 
It seems that whatever this pathway is, it attacks higher brain functions and only leaves more basal functions in the lower brain stem. We witness that a high percentage of subjects lose ability for rational thought and communication skills, and then the physical changes become evident. Subjects in this group appear to atrophy. Skin pales, muscles become slack, bone, teeth, and fingernails become almost translucent, veiny sinews of their former selves. I have never seen anything like this in my career. Our observations continue. This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated November 1st, 2145. Patient 0432, a private Steve Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division, expired today at 1543 of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. This is approximately 110 Making hours progress after his return from a traditional Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment. He was the last surviving member of his outfit. Four other squad teams, who also came back with Private Jensen, expired from injuries suffered on that last mission shortly after their return. Before his death, Private Jensen was heard screaming in both English and other languages. Something about demon horns feasting on our soul. The other language was later discovered to be Aramaic. Due to security concerns in the area, I've secured some armaments within my office. are destroyed around us, so it's the only way through this part of the complex. You need to find me a working plasma inducer. It's all I need to get the teleporter working. You can look for it in operations. I have a security clearance. I'll unlock some doors for you. There. We don't have a lot of time. Please hurry.
medical report 16-8, November 2nd, 2145. 0-432, a private Steve Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armored Division expired yesterday at 1543. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. Initial psychiatric interviews suggested only mild psychosis with speech, motor activity, and thought processes within normal range, paranoia being the only psychotic element directly evident. Reference interview G8A, Private Steve Jensen, October 18, 2145. UAC psychologist Dr. Hooper interviewing Steve Jensen, male, age 27. <clears throat> Steve, can you talk to me about the last few weeks, please? I don't want to talk. Well, I'm here to help you, Steve. I've tried talking. They think I'm crazy. You think I'm systems deactivated.
This is the audio log of medical... Audio log for Phil Wilson, medical technician, Delta Labs. October 20th, 2005. Today I witnessed the third test of the teleporter in the three weeks that I've been here. Volunteers are becoming harder and harder to come from. It's difficult to see why. They all come back screaming like loons about the demons, pools of blood. It's real fire and brimstone stuff. At first I wasn't paying much attention, just doing my job, but the last was really late. No, I met him my first day here. This guy chews up rocks and spits out crap as tough as they come. Having to sedate him and drag his drooling body to the isolation room, it's really freaked me out. I'm gonna put in for a transfer as soon as I'm able. As requested, the following is my initial feedback on my first trip through the portal. Private First Class Frank Cinders, dated October 15th, 2145. I, uh, I don't know exactly where to begin. Obviously, I survived the first trip and feel no worse for the wear. I, I'm not feeling any of the symptoms reported by the others who have gone in before me, but I'm at a point where I'm still trying to process everything. Thankfully, the place looks deserted and devoid of any life, but, uh, flames and heat and stench of the place. It, it, it smells of death, decay, and burnt flesh. Tomorrow, we're going back in with some of the eggheads, um, science division, to start securing forward positions, and we expect to start sending out the mapping droids at the same time. feeling about this. I don't understand what we're doing there or, or, or what we hope to prove. PFC Cinders, signing off.
Excellent. Now we'll get the teleporter working again. And you don't have much time. You're going to need to teleport across the containment chamber. It's the only way through this part of the complex. Head into the chamber and initiate the sequence on the machine. And I'll take care of the rest. I'm not going with you. Good luck. But before you go, I want you to take something. It's a journal I made about the experiments. Those things. It's all there. Explain everything. Give it to someone so this never happens again. My name is Ian McCormick, and I am a research specialist stationed on Mars, working for the UAC. My primary job is, or rather was, to assist Dr. Malcolm Betruger in a variety of experiments, though for the past year we've been focusing almost exclusively on teleportation. I don't know if I'll make it out of here alive, so I'm recording this video log to let someone know what happened, and with that knowledge, prevent it from happening again. Initially, the teleportation experiments were amazing. We were creating a new science, and the prospects of it changing our way of life were, well, they were outstanding. I was proud to be associated with such an amazing project and someone as talented as Dr. Petruger. We noticed early on, well, probably before we had completed maybe a dozen successful tests, that there was a variable delay during the teleportation. The objects are broken down at the quantum level transported and then reassembled. Each stage of the process should have been instantaneous, but it, it wasn't, and we didn't know why. We sent a video drone through and were shocked at the images it sent back. Just a few frames of video right before the drone came back through showed what appeared to be several sets of eyes looking directly at the probe. We had just found a living, breathing creature that was not human. Truger immediately sent out a request for volunteers. He specifically wanted UAC security force members because he wanted to capture one of these creatures. <sighs> I've made a lot of mistakes, but I am most ashamed of my involvement during the next phase. To get medical clearance to send human subjects through the device, I, I doctored up several of our reports to indicate that we had performed living tissue experiments. I did not regret it at the time. But a few days later, when our third test subject came back, he was chewing off his own fingers. It seemed he was clinically insane. We started sending teams in about once every two days. The teams were reporting nightmarish experiences and sightings of things that ultimately made us conclude that the other dimension was not just another dimension. It was hell. And the creatures we were bringing back. Demons. And then Petruger, he went through the portal himself. I, I don't know what he was thinking. It was an unscheduled trip, and he just went. And we couldn't stop him. And when he came back, he had changed. He sounded and looked the same, but he just... I, I don't know, he was, he was just different. And then he did the unthinkable. He took the Soul Cube, the device that was discovered in the ruins, into the portal. The portal stabilizers just started to fail, and... And then, living hell erupted into the base. Oh, we were stupid for not destroying the portals as soon as we realized what was on the other side. Oh God, forgive me. I blame myself for my part in this. Please, someone, never let this happen again. I'm sorry, Ian McCormick. Decontamination process started. 
decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Systems activated. Teleportation is commenced in T-minus three, two, one.